Hello and welcome to this week's energy update with Orisoma. We have bottle number 89 today. It is called Energy Rescue. It's deep magenta on the bottom, that really deep, mysterious deep magenta, and then red on the top. So what is this telling us today? It's telling us to have energy, right? Red is energy. It's the first chakra. So there's this deep healing, which is the magenta. The magenta signifies a deep healing in the shadow side of being. That's the deep magenta. So there's a deep healing of the shadow side and there's the energy, which is the red, to do that work, to go into healing what no longer serves us so that we can have energy again. Because when our shadow side isn't healed or isn't looked at or is ignored and sho shoved down, it takes up so much space and energy in our field, in our life. We don't even know it because we don't know what it feels like to not have it. So by looking in and healing, we create this time shift. And this bottle is also known as the time, time shift bottle. So it brings you into a new paradigm. When we look into the shadow and we heal that and we bring all the shadow aspects with us, like we heal it, we don't banish them, we don't shove it down. We go into it with, with an enthusiasm to shift, to change so that we can have a new beginning. So we can have a, a passion, a passion that comes from the healing. And who, who has ever healed something that's been hard for them? You know, something's happened to you in your life, a tragedy, a loss, grief, um, lost your job, relationship, you know, those kind of things. It can be um, bigger, smaller, whatever. But when you actually transcend that, what happens? You, when you get through the anger, the anguish, the bitterness, the resentment, and you transcend that and you go in and you heal it, what usually happens? For me, what happens is I have this newfound passion, this enthusiasm for life. And those things that happen that were really hard become something I'm passionate about. Um, about helping other people to work through it, or I'm just passionate about getting through it. And I bring that energy into my life. Like I'm here to be alive, not to struggle with this all the time. Yes, these things happened, but I am in control about how I heal and how I choose to hang on or be in resentment and anger. I mean, that's a natural part of the process. So again, the key here is not thinking that anger is bad, it's not, it's the way through. We've gotta go through the anger, the bitterness and the resentment and love it and give it the attention needed so that we can transcend that and have this life force energy in that first chakra. So that's really, it's so important. People uh, look over the first chakra so much and they think it's all about you know the crown chakra, the third eye where the mystical, divine, higher vibrational energies are. And it's so not the case. Those are important, yes. But if we haven't healed and come into balance with that first chakra, we're not gonna be able to integrate all of that expansion from the higher realms, from spirit, from your, your soul, and in the ascension path, we have to be grounded in that first chakra and that's where we need to transcend a lot of the physical things that we go through in our life here on earth because we're here to be on earth not escape our body it's transcending the body and bringing heaven into earth into your body and that's what this bottle is telling us today it's very powerful as many of you had stated when you were sharing what came up for you, it's very powerful bottle. It, you kind of can't not look at it because it grabs and calls your attention, just like the lady in the card. So she is very confident, right? She's fierce. She's got a lion in her on her cloak. She's got a lion's mane. She has tamed the beast, the the lion that can be. Um, unbalanced, the anger, the frustration, the bitterment, the betrayal, the blame, right? That has a lot of 
a lot of life force energy in it. And you can use it however you want it, however you want to approach that, right? So you can use that and let it eat you up, or you can transcend it and let it become your confidence and integrate that. So that's what this, this card is. She's integrated that into her being. All of the depth, all of life has been integrated into her being. She now owns it. So she can show up with the energy in this new, because it's a new beginning when we do that. We literally transcend and go into a new paradigm when we are like integrated and embodied with who we are. Now this card comes from this card. So it's a journeying, a journeying from this bottle, which is number 11, to this bottle, 89. And what this is telling us, you can see, is you can see here, this is the, the maiden, the sweet nurturing energy, loving the beast that's angry. So she's transcending it with love. That's how it all starts to integrate into being this fierce woman in her shadow. It starts with this sweet, loving energy. Oh, sorry. This sweet, loving energy that's coming to the parts that are really angry, frustrated, hurt, betrayed, and loving it to integrate it. So that is the message for today. I hope this serves you. Utilize this. This is a game changer when you love your anger and your betrayal and your hurts and your shadow and you let them be a part of you okay it will change your life so if you have any questions just let me know i hope you're doing well happy easter to those that celebrate it and i will be in next monday bye